Hey everyone, this is Grace from Kapwing and welcome to my desktop. So these are all custom icons that I created myself and added to my desktop folders. Sometimes you get bored of the default blue folder that they give you for new folders and you want to customize your space and organize it. So in this video, I'll show you exactly how you can make your own custom folder icons. It's super simple and we're using our free online editor called Kapwing. It has all the tools you need to create these custom icons. You can search for images, erase the backgrounds of images, and even combine emojis to make your icons. All you have to do is click the first link in the description to go to Kapwing Studio and let's get started. Okay, so to start off, you're gonna go to kapwing.com studio. It's the first link in the description below. Basically to make these icons, you need to make PNG images and you can use any image for the Mac folders, but to get like that look where it's transparent in the background and looks like it's just floating on your screen, um, you, they need to be PNGs. So in Kapwing, you can make PNGs really easily. Um, and just to prove to you that those were my actual Mac folder icons, here's my desktop. You can make anything from like combining emojis to make these weird emojis in Kapwing or just using actual images and then erasing the backgrounds. Um, so you can make like different meme scenes, like you could have like an always has been scene. I don't know, the, the world is your oyster with this. Um, I'm, I'm, I'll show you different options you have for making these different Mac folder icons. But yeah, so start by going to that link. And from here you can either um, upload your own image it can be a JPEG or a PNG to start with, or you can just start with a blank canvas. I'm just gonna do that. And to add an image, you can search for them in this images tab. So uh, you can search here and these results will be sourced from Google. We also have emojis in this tab that you can use. But I'll show you a starting with an image and making that into a Mac folder icon. And then later I'll do uh, one with combining different emojis. Um, I'm gonna search for a Michael Scott photo to turn him into one of my folder icons. Kind of like this one. <laughs> so I want to erase everything that's not him. So any of this background stuff, I don't want it in the actual icon. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure the background the actual canvas itself is transparent. So just click the canvas, the border, the white part around here, and then click this uh, circle with a slash through it, which is the transparent PNG background. Cool. Then to erase the part, the background, or any part of the photo you don't want, select the photo and then click erase here on the side. So to erase, parts of the photo, you have two options. You can use the magic wand or you can use this erase tool. Magic wand will basically make it more efficient to erase where it selects areas that are similar to each other. So you use it by clicking and dragging and it'll start highlighting different areas. And if you click and drag and move your mouse, it'll highlight different sections. The highlighted areas, you can then hit your hit delete on your keyboard and it'll erase them. So this is a more efficient way to erase parts of photos, but uh, just make sure you're not erasing like part of the photo you want. So like if, see like if that, if I deleted right now, it would delete a lot of his face, which I don't want. So I'm gonna undo that in Command Z to undo. Um, but yeah, to set, change the sensitivity of how much areas is selected, when you click and drag, you can use the slider on the side here. So lower sensitivity will only select like smaller areas that are similar, uh, it's more conservative. So I'm gonna do something in the middle and just try and get most of this area. The other option you have here is the erase tool. So this is just a freehand eraser where if you click and drag, it erases the pixels right under it. And you can change the size of the eraser on the side as well. So one tip when you're using the this tool to erase stuff you want to make sure you're getting the borders as well because otherwise it'll show up in your final icon and it would look like not as smooth. Uh, so you might want to zoom out to see where the borders are. So you can also just use your trackpad. So for example, do you see this, this line right here? You don't want that in your final icon. So make sure you're erasing all that too. Okay, so I erased most of the background uh, that I didn't want and I think I'm happy with this so I'm gonna go ahead and click done and it'll bring me back into this editor here 
Um, one thing to make sure is like if you move around the photo, you could catch different tiny specks that you may have forgotten um, when you were racing. And if this is, you can also make the background white again just to make sure you're not missing any of these spots. Like sometimes there'll just be like sets, um, parts of the photo that you forgot to erase. Um, but yeah, that is pretty clean. It's just Michael. So I'm gonna move it back to a transparent background. And from here, you can either be done and click export image to finish up, or there's some other options you have. You can, some people like to label their fold folders, so add text, and you have a bunch of options on the, the right side here for labeling. So for example, if I wanted to say like office, or maybe like work things. Move that onto the image. Can change the color, the text. Uh, maybe you also want a background color. Um, but yeah, you have a lot of options to play around with here. I think I'm gonna actually make it no background again. And once you're happy with how your icon will look, then just go ahead and click export image and your image should load. So from here, download the photo and that'll download to your local computer. To actually make this image your Mac folder icon, open it in preview and then in the toolbar, click edit, select all and then edit again and copy. You can close that now. Then create a folder or like if you have an existing folder, then select that folder, right click it and say get info and then click this tiny folder icon and then on your keyboard press command V and that will paste the image into the folder. And there you go, you can see now our folder is Michael Scott with and it says work things on the front. Yeah, so that's exactly the process I went through for all of these different icons here. Uh, you can literally do this with any image, just erase the background, the part you don't want. Um, I'm gonna also show how to make uh, these folder icons with combined emojis. So like this one and this one, I just combined a bunch of emojis to make that image and they look pretty funny. So let's do that right now. Okay, so just go ahead and make a new project and start with studio again. I'm gonna start with a blank canvas and then go to the images tab and go to the emojis tab. And here you have a lot of different options. Um, all the regular emojis are here and you can just start combining them to make some interesting combinations. I'm gonna choose these eyes and then go back in and choose something else. I'm gonna choose the monkey. And you can resize and then send each, send different layers backwards or forwards to layer them. So I'm gonna send this backwards. Now you can see the eyes are on the face. If I wanted to add legs to it, it's going to be an interesting one. And then I'm going to just send this layer backwards. <laughs> this is kind of weird. Made a copy, send it backwards. And then you can even flip, uh, rotate these uh, different emojis. So like with this one, I want it to be facing the other way. So <laughs> there we go. A monkey with legs. Cool. And last step, you just want to make sure the background canvas is also transparent. So same thing we did before, just click the circle with the slash through it. So this way it's an actually uh, a PNG when you export. So yeah, I think I'm going to export that now. And same, pr same process, just download the file, find the icon you just made, open it in preview, click edit, select all, edit, copy, close that out. And then in your folder, select it, right click, get info, and then select, click the icon and command V to paste the icon. Nice. Yeah, that's basically the process of making these custom Mac folder icons. You have your background eraser to make PNGs, you can make custom emojis, 
and add labels. So hope you like this video. If it was helpful, please drop us a like and subscribe to our channel for more content creation tips and tricks. Help your friends out, tell them how to customize their Mac folder icons and send them to this video. But yeah, let us know your other video ideas and we'll see you in the next one.